Welcome to Fantastic Plastic, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Fantastic Plastic, I'll be presenting strategies and techniques for injection molded plastic part design using SolidWorks CAD software. I'm Andrew Lowe. I'm a senior industrial designer with the Demonic Group. The Demonic Group is a full-service product development consultancy located just outside Chicago, Illinois. In this installment of Fantastic Plastic, we'll be taking a look at undercut geometry and some ways we can analyze undercut geometry in SolidWorks, uh, what some of the terminology in SolidWorks means, as well as some modeling strategies to help speed up the creation of certain kinds of uh, geometry that are commonly considered undercut in parts and uh, would need a lifter or a slide for, uh, for proper molding. So the undercut analysis uh, should be used to, to prevent inadvertent undercuts uh, in, the, in the draft features, make sure that the part design is the way you want it. As well, a thorough undercut analysis should always be performed for releasing parts for tooling, make sure that there's no uh, errors in your parts. So jumping into SolidWorks here, let's take a look at how uh, the tool works. So we will uh, turn on our undercut analysis and for our direction of pull we're going to select uh, the right plane here or the pull direction of the part and here we see both direction one undercut direction two undercut occluded undercut and straddle undercut as well as no undercut so a better definition of what some of these terms might be uh, direction one undercut and direction two undercut are kind of misnomers because what they should really be called are kind of core side faces and cavity side faces so here direction one if we rotate the part we see this light blue this is just basically showing us all the faces in the part that ultimately will be on the uh, the cavity side kind of our cosmetic faces rotating back to the other side of the part the uh, the dark blue is kind of showing the all of the faces of the, that's formed on the core side so all of our core internal details uh, the red is what's most important when using the undercut tool because this is showing what's considered an occluded undercut and this is all portions of the part that can't be formed uh, in the core side as this part opens without having some kind of uh, lifter or slide geometry. So in this case we have a tab coming off this part that's supported by some ribs. Uh, there's a little grommet that goes in here uh, and this is entirely intentional. This whole geometry is going to be formed by, by a lifter uh, as well as this one and this one likewise we have some kind of snap tabs here so here there's a corresponding tab that kind of comes over this hook and these will also require lifters for proper ejection and this is showing us kind of the red area where we have an undercut so anything where you see red uh, unless you have designed an undercut knowing that there's going to be some kind of of action in the tool required that would require some further analysis to make sure that you don't have some kind of geometry error or something that just wasn't modeled or design correctly for what your your intended molding strategy was going to be. The straddle undercut is a, a little harder to to discuss. I find that ultimately the straddle undercut needs further investigation uh, because a lot of the time it can just be kind of fillet faces that that are reported as straddle. Uh, one way to check this is we're going to turn off our different undercut directions. So this little eye here just shows and hides all the faces. So we're going to we've hidden all of our core and cavity faces let's hide the occluded undercut so all we're getting are the straddle faces so here straddle faces we're kind of seeing you know if we turn off the occluded under or undercut faces straddle faces some of these fillets are reporting errors which which makes sense but others there's no issue likewise the the no undercut option here we'll turn that off so this is just basically showing us some kind of fillets here that are straddling both the part direction uh, and sometimes or a lot of the time you'll get fillets that that show up that are for, falsely reported as straddle and so that's why you need to go in and kind of turn off the other faces and really investigate what SOLIDWORKS is telling you is actually a straddle undercut uh, showing back the no undercut faces uh, these faces can be ignored ultimately what no undercut means is they have zero draft on them so this can also be a useful way in addition to the draft analysis tool of uh, identifying faces in the model that ultimately might need more draft in here, uh, just because this is a partial model, ultimately I'd need to go in and add some additional uh, draft on these features depending on if I wanted them to be uh, pulled 
in the, the main direction of the part or if all of this geometry wanted to be integrated into the lifter that was forming this undercut. And sometimes there's a discussion that can be uh, had with your mold maker, your tool maker, how exactly do they want to approach the design of the part. And that's just some, a discussion they can have. Or sometimes you just leave zero draft on it and the, uh, the tool maker can go in and add the appropriate draft as they want to actually mold that detail. So to recap, the undercut analysis tool is extremely powerful, but just be aware of what the terminology means. Uh, direction 1 can be better considered the, uh, the cavity faces, direction 2, core faces, occluded undercut. This is definitely areas that are undercut and would need uh, lifter or slide geometry or perhaps a better investigation and, uh, and some part revisions is required. Straddle undercut definitely requires your... Uh, due diligence because sometimes it can be undercut geometry and sometimes it could just be uh, false positives and finally no undercut which is faces that uh, don't actually have any draft on them. I hope you enjoyed this week's SOLIDWORKS video tutorial presented by the Demonte Group. Please subscribe to the Demonte Group on YouTube by clicking our logo in the bottom right of the screen to stay up to date on new video releases. As well, click the SOLIDWORKS icon to be taken to our website where you can download the example SOLIDWORKS files used in this week's video. And finally, check out other great content by the Demonte Group, Will It Fill It and Surfaces and Splines by clicking the video links on the left of the screen.